everybody, it's Sarah from The Style Blog, and today I'm so excited to show you what I use in the shower. I'm going over what products I use on my hair, including shampoo, conditioner, what I use on my face, my cleansers, my exfoliants, my masks, um, what soap I use, what body wash I use, razor, shaving cream, a little pumice stone, basically everything I use when I enter the shower, I'm sharing with you today. Okay, first let's go over hair care. So I just got a new shampoo and conditioner a couple of weeks, maybe a month ago. These are the Kevin Murphy Hydrate Me Shampoo and Conditioner. I really love these, they keep my hair super moisturized. They're very expensive, so I'm not sure if I will repurchase these, but I like what they're doing to my hair so far. <laughs> they also smell wonderful. It says they're plum infused, and it smells like a spa in like a botanical rainforest. It's delicious and wonderful. <laughs> So I wash this long mane about once a week. So every other time I shampoo, I use this Clairol Shimmer Lights Blonde Shampoo. It's basically a purple shampoo and it keeps your blonde from getting brassy looking. It keeps it nice and light and ashy, which I really prefer. So this is what the shampoo looks like. It's very deep purple. Don't let that scare you though, because it all washes out and leaves your hair a nice, beautiful blonde. Now I gotta go wash my hand. I'll be right back. I honestly didn't know what I was missing before I started using purple shampoo, and now basically I can't live without it. <laughs> also, I want to mention this Olaplex Hair Perfector number three. This is basically like a leave-in bond builder in your hair, so you put it in your wet hair before you wash it, and then wash it out, and then shampoo and condition like normal, and it strengthens your hair and um, makes it extra shiny and strong. So I use this about every three to four weeks before I shampoo and condition. <laughs> All right, that is it for hair care. What should we go to next? Uh, face? Okay. So next up, face wash. Hello. I have way too much stuff here. Okay. So next up, face wash. I use this CeraVe. I've used this um, basically forever. I love it so much. You guys have seen it in my videos because it's been a favorite of mine like forever. <laughs> um, this takes off all my makeup. If I have a ton of makeup and SPF on, I will double cleanse with this. Basically just like use it twice in a row and it takes absolutely everything off. The one thing is it just doesn't remove waterproof mascara, but everything else it takes off beautifully. <laughs> they have a hydrating version of this if you have dry skin as well. So that one is a great option if you don't have oily skin like me. <laughs> I use this first thing when I wake up in the morning and then last thing before I go to bed at night before I apply all my like facial serums and all that stuff. So <laughs> I am a huge fan of this. I basically will never switch probably ever. <laughs> All right, next up, I have an exfoliant and a mask. So this Dr. Grant Microdermabrasion, I've been using this for maybe, I don't know, one to two years now. I use it one to two times per week, and it's kind of like a physical exfoliant. It makes my skin so soft and glowy. I absolutely love it. <laughs> I can definitely tell when I wake up the next morning and I've used this the night before because my skin is just extra smooth and supple and just like so dewy and glowy and fabulous. <laughs> This stuff is expensive, so wait until they have a sale. There, You can always usually find a sale on Dr. Brandt somewhere. Okay, next up is this Elemis Superfood Vital Veggie Mask. I actually got this free in a, I think, BoxyCharm box. So, I mean, not free, but it, like, came in my subscription. I actually really like this. It plumps my skin so well. I'll wake up, and I, like, all my fine lines are filled in, and my face looks so supple and nice. I use this once a week, and I usually use it the night before I'm going to film in the morning because it makes my skin just look so wonderful. I really do like this. You have to leave it on for, like, 10 minutes, which kind of sometimes takes a long time if you're not planning on it, but I try to, like, wash my hair or shave my legs while I'm wearing it or something like that. So I've been loving this. I'm not sure if I would have purchased it on my own, but I'm glad that I got it in my box. Next up, let's go over shaving. So I shave my legs maybe like once a week, sometimes twice a week in the summer. I've been looking into laser hair removal. I just like can't commit to doing that. <laughs> so I might try like a uh, laser hair removal at home and do a video about it. I'm not sure. So anyway, I use the Gillette Venus Embrace Razor. I tried the Billy Razors and I did not like them at all. I felt like I cut myself so much and it didn't really give me a closer shave. This Gillette Venus Embrace has five blades. I have used these for years and years and years and they go over my knees beautifully. I have kind of bony knees and I, am, I like to shave quickly so I tend to cut myself and I cut myself the least amount with this razor here. <laughs> um, this one just has, you can get them in disposable versions or you can get the ones where you just replace the head. So I usually use these um, maybe three weeks in the summer, maybe a month in the winter and then change out the head. But the five blades is a real game changer for me. It makes, me, it makes my legs stay smoother so much longer and my armpits, I don't know, I love this. It's great for the bikini area as well. 
because I've tried lots of different shaving creams and I always go back to my Skin to Mint Skin Therapy Lotionized Dry Skin Shaving Cream. So I do feel like this is great for moisturizing because my legs don't get super dry after I shave. I apply like a lotion after I shave anyway. This goes on really smoothly like a gel. You kind of lather it up. It's easy to see where you've shaved, where you haven't. I'll keep trying different kinds, but <laughs> if I find one that beats this, I'll definitely let you know. But this has been my go-to for years and years. <laughs> comes out as like a gel and then you, oh heavens, it's gonna go everywhere. Ah! Oh boy. Okay. And then you kind of just rub it in and it turns into this nice foamy, lathery shave lotion gel. So it's really nice. Here, let's see if I can shave my hand for you guys. This is not wet, it's not gonna work, but I'm just gonna show you how it works because why not? Ta-da! I mean, like you guys know how to shave. This is not a new concept. I gotta go wash my hands again. I'll be right back. <laughs> and I gotta clean up this whole mess I got going on here. But, alright, I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, guys, I got mess number two cleaned up. Maybe we won't make any more messes. We'll see. I kind of like making messes. Okay, next up is body soap. And I know this is like a weird one for me to use. I've tried everything and I always come back to this Irish Spring. <laughs> and it has to be the original version. <laughs> I have used this since I started like taking showers as a child. I'm sure it doesn't like have the cleanest best ingredients. <laughs> I love using this on my underarms at the end of the day and I feel like it so it says it's a deodorant soap and I feel like it helps. I'm just like always self-conscious that my armpits stink. <laughs> So I wear like a men's like extra shrink deodorant and use this Irish spring on my underarms. I don't know. I've used it forever. I've tried switching. I just don't feel clean with the other ones. This one just makes me feel like I don't smell and makes me feel clean. I think maybe it's just like a product of using it in my childhood and I can't let go of it. I don't know. <laughs> but it doesn't even smell that great. I don't know. I just, this is a weird one, but it's just me. <laughs> So also it was a game changer for me. If you use a bar soap, get a soap saver. These things are amazing. So you put your soap on it in the shower and it like helps it drain through this so that it doesn't sit in like a gross, yucky, how would you describe that? Like a gooey, gummy mess, you know, it just sits on this and drains. So it helps it dry quicker and it helps your soap last like double as long. It's amazing. We got these at Walmart. It was like a two pack for $2 or something. They're not expensive. So I don't use tons of body wash. When I do use body wash, I use this L'Occitane um, shower oil. It's like an almond shower oil, I think. Where does it say almond? Did I make up almond? Oh, almond oil shower oil. Okay, I didn't make it up. It moisturizes beautifully without leaving your skin feeling super greasy. Uh, my mother-in-law buys this for me every year for Christmas, and this humongous 17-ounce uh, 500 ml container lasts me, I don't know, like eight months. I don't quite get a year out of this. <laughs> I wish I could stretch it Christmas to Christmas. And it keeps my skin nice and moist, especially in the dry winter months. So you can also get refills for these so you don't have to buy the plastic portion every single time, which is nice too. And lastly, I have a little pumice stone. I actually don't know where I got this one from, maybe just from Walmart. And I used to have like a fish shaped one I got from World Market and it was really cool, but I think we lost it when we moved last time. Basically, okay, so I'm going to try to get my leg up here. I am wearing a dress, but I'm wearing shorts underneath this just because it's more comfortable to film in, so I'm not going to flash you. So basically, I just like use it on my feet in the shower like this. This is a good visual, guys. I feel so silly doing this. Okay, so basically use it over my feet and like on my toes here and on the edge of my foot here. Um, I use this, I don't know, maybe once every few weeks or something. Not a whole lot, but it does help keep my feet really smooth and it keeps kind of like the white hard calluses away. So I think you can pretty much get these anywhere. This one isn't like special by any means. Guys, let me know below what shower faves you can't live without. So right before filming this video, I got all ready and did my hair and makeup on camera for you guys. And I did, I filmed a Q&A get ready with me. So I'm gonna link that for you right up here if you wanna see how I got this makeup and hair look and hear about my life, like personal questions, beauty questions, basically everything you guys asked me, I answered. <laughs> So be sure to check that out, out right up here, and I can't wait to see you there. Bye, guys.